Hello. One of the cool things about Office 365 and now called M365 is that you can share content externally. So a lot of users have their OneDrive set up, but if you allow content to be shared externally, they will do so and they'll share it with pretty much anybody that they need to as part of their role. Now, as a 365 administrator, you're going to need to report on that to say, well, who is sharing what and who are they sharing it to? Now, that's not easy to find in the console. So I'm going to show you we're using some PowerShell scripting about how we can generate some very good reports and see exactly what is being shared and who it's being shared with and what permissions they have to. So follow this, uh, this session and I'll show you exactly how that can be done. Firstly, obviously download the script and put it in its own directory. I've got OneDrive usage here, drop it in here, open it up with a PowerShell window, has to be administrator obviously. And if you go down the bottom of the script, you'll see around line 265 here, we need a tenant ID, well that's easy. The app ID and client secret come from an app registration in your Azure AD. These are because it uses the Graph API to make that connection. It doesn't require a normal login name and password. It goes straight in with that. So let me show you how you create an app registration for that. So inside your normal M365 admin center, just go to Active Directory. Once that's in, you'll find AD here on the left hand side and you want app registrations. So in here, we've got all the applications we've got listed. We've got a couple there already, but we want to go to new registration and we just give it a name. And I'm just going to call this something pretty basic OneDrive report. We only want accounts in this directory to access it. Nothing else needed here. We just hit register on that and we get the registration. Now, importantly, we need to tell it what we want it to be able to access, what the Graph API can access inside our tenant. So we do that with the API permissions here. And by default, it just gets the normal user read, but we want to add three more. So we go to add a permission here, and we're gonna choose Microsoft Graph at the top. That's the main one we want. And we need to do application permissions. At the top of the script, it'll tell you what it needs, which is basically user site and directory access. So the first one we'll do here, just in quick alphabetical order, so too much scrolling. Directory, we want to read all and come down to sites and sites it likes to have read write all on sites and then user we need to have user read all there and just add those permissions in we then need to hit the grant admin consent that's important obviously and that will then grant those accordingly there Next thing is we need to give it a client secret. This is kind of like a password to it. So we've got a client secrets here and we say generate a new one. And here, OneDrive report secret, we'll just call it that and decide how long it's gonna be there for. I'm just gonna say three months, that's um, the basic amount. Let's hit add and there's our secret. Now it's very important that you do copy this value from your secret straight away because this is the only time that you are going to get to see it. If you go back into it, you would not be able to get that out. So that's something to remember for that. So really that is now done on the app registration side. We do need to grab this one here, this client ID. So let's just grab that out and jump into here like so. These are obviously important. We're gonna pop those straight back into the script. So now we've got these two done. Uh, we can just go back to our main tenant refresh that you'll see I've got the OneDrive report ready to go and we'll drop back to the script so let's do that now let's grab here these first one is this little secret because that gets populated up into this area the app ID which is also uh, known as the client ID grab that push that in here and we need to give it the name of the tenant, which is that. And we are ready to run this. So as we hit the run here, what it's going to do for us is going to troll all of the users in the tenant and grab every 
item that they have in their OneDrive and report on it. So you see a list of all the folders. It'll also show you all the, the files that are shared. It'll have a special column in the CSV, which is gonna have a yes if it's externally shared. At the end of the script, it's going to then tell us uh, via this nice little GUI window, uh, what is externally shared. Now this is a test tenant, it's pretty small, there's not really much shared, but you can see what it's doing. And uh, from that we can filter it, we can look for things, and it is a nice little output at the end, but it also creates a CSV which we're gonna have a look at as well. So you can see it goes through pretty quick, there's only 39 users on there, but you can see what it's done here. Let me just shrink that in. But what you're looking at here, you can see really on this tenant, I only have two that are externally shared, you can see here, and these are the, the owners, this is who it's been shared with and what the locations are, and you can see the document names here. Now, if I did have a huge list, I could add some criteria for some sorting and I could have a look at OneDrive owner and let's say um, the name here, add those, and I can start to put in things here to do some, um, some filtering to see really what I'm looking for. But you'll also notice that if I just close that out, what it will also do here, if I list that directory, you can see it's created a CSV file as well. So let's take a look at that. When you do through Excel open that file, you do need to tell it that it is comma delimited, but once you do that and go in, you will get the report as such. Now if I just click here, have a look at these columns, you can see here it's showing all the, the types that people have in their OneDrive. You can see all the different folders that are listed and whether or not they are shared externally. And what you just obviously do there is just put a quick filter on that and then you can do the same sort of reporting and see what is shared. Now to get the PowerShell scripts, I did promise I'd put a link in up at the end. So let me just bring my notepad here, you can see it cloudgeezer.com, that's my website, and it's the OneDrive sharing report. If you go to that link, I've also got it in the description of the video, so you can cut and paste it out of there, but it will look like so, and you can see here, it does explain what to do with the app registration and the like and how to do things. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's what we have today. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, and please feel free in the comments, share any other videos that you'd like to have about things around M365, and anything related to cloud. Thanks again.